Hi, grade 11 student. So, in this video, we are going to discuss a manufacturing account. Uh, so, this is part four, uh, if not mistaken. So, please, if you haven't watched part one, two, and three, make sure that you do so after this video. Okay. So, the question paper that we are going to do today, uh, they requested us to prepare for ledger account. Apparently, it's all ledgers that you are going to find under uh, manufacturing or cost accounting okay uh, number one they say that we have to prepare direct material stock which is the same as raw material five marks number two work in progress number three finished goods number four factory overheads okay and the information the following opening balance appear in the box of on 1 march 2022 so we've been given opening balances for four uh, books okay you know that every time when we prepare a ledger account of manufacturing opening balance we are going to record them this side only factor over here that does not have opening balance the rest they have opening balances okay we're gonna say balance for direct material uh, which amount is thirty thousand. direct material is the same as raw material okay the same as raw material and opening balance for work in progress uh, is 2000 and finished goods opening balance is amount of 44000 all right maybe before we proceed this is free three marks guys maybe before we proceed let's talk about the format of this account this is the format that you need to expect uh, when you are preparing a direct material number one we start with opening balance of course number two we record bank of item that we purchase cash if we purchase raw material cash we're gonna record bank if we purchase on credit a creditors control and after that we're gonna go to the last bank which is related to transport if we pay transport to deliver our raw material we record it this side and after that this side we're gonna have work in progress and we're gonna have a return if we return any direct material we're gonna re record it here and lastly we have a closing balance so this is the format that you need to know under this account okay work in progress we're gonna have a direct material direct labor and factory overhead and this side we're gonna have a finish goods the reason we, why we have finished goods here is because we have to take this balance and transfer it this side okay and we're gonna have balance okay after we completed work in progress we're gonna transfer our work in progress here work in progress and this side we're gonna have cost of sales and we're gonna have a balance okay then after that we also have to work a factory overhead but guys we can't complete this account without calculating a factory overhead because the balance that we get here is from the total of factor overheads that we have calculated okay now because we have a format uh, it's gonna be simple for us if you check down below we have a closing balance on 28 february okay let's say let's start with this part because it's free max as well 22,000 for direct material and a work in progress no balance okay and the other one finished goods we have a closing balance of 84,000 and consumable store consumable store for part of factory overhead consumable stores okay let's start with consumable store under this account remember on the opening balance we have a factory consumable which is opening balance of 24000 we say opening balance plus purchase of consumable store uh, adjustment number three consumable store for the factory we bought cash which amounted to 16,000 plus 16,000 
minus closing of 2000. This is how we do it. Opening plus purchase minus closing for consumable store or indirect material. Okay. Number one. Transaction number B, number one. Raw material amounting to 360 were bought on credit. Creditors control, we bought 360,000. Okay. And the raw material amounted to 12,000 were returned to creditors. It's a return. It must be subtracted this side. This side is to add. Subtract 12,000. Okay. Then after that, we didn't pay any transport and we didn't buy any material cash which means that total here we are going to have 390,000 which we have to record it as 390,000 here work in progress we're gonna get it as a balancing figure very simple very simple uh, let me calculate we're gonna say amount of 390 minus 22,000 minus 12,000 which is going to give us 356,000 now because we got our work in progress we have to transfer this direct material to work in progress 356,000 okay you can close this account balance carry down you say balance 22,000 just like that now we have to look for direct labor and factor overhead. Okay, let's go back to our question paper. Okay. They say that number, Roman figure number four, salaries and wages paid amounted to 420 and 40,000 of this was indirect labor and the rest was direct labor. So they give us total amount of salaries and wages which one is direct labor and the other one is indirect indirect fall under factor of eight indirect labor they told us that is 40,000 but they said the direct is 420 minus 40,000 of indirect which is going to give us uh, 38 420 minus 40,000 is going to give us this one. Okay, now we're left with this one, which means that we must work everything here. Uh, we have to save 24,000. 16. Minus 2,000. It's going to give us 38,000. <clears throat> All right. Now let's proceed to the next one. <clears throat> Rent for the year amounted to 160,000 and must be divided among the factory salaries and office department in the ratio of 7 to 1. Okay, <clears throat> they give us a rent. A rent we know that it's fall under factory overhead, but we are looking for factory part. Factory part, how do we check it? We have three departments, factory, sales, and office, and we have three a ratio seven two and one the first one they mention is for the first uh, ratio the second ratio is for the second name that they mention so they first mention factory which means that the first ratio is seven okay we're gonna say 160 thousand multiply by we are looking for seven and the total of this ratio is seven plus two plus one which is going to give us ten Okay, 160,000 multiplied by 7 over 10, which is going to give us 112,000. Very simple like that, guys. Very simple. So, guys, we are still in a celebration of 1 million view. Please, make sure that you capture a short video just to say congratulations, Accounting Solution SA. For reaching 1 million view and send me on whatsapp so i trust grade 11 guys because uh, i'm that's why i'm keeping recording a lot of video for grade 11 because i can see that you guys are subscribing are watching video most of you already joined the classes 
uh, buying study guide and so on and so on. So I really, really appreciate uh, grade 11. So please don't disappoint me. Make sure that you shoot a short video below 10 seconds. Just to say congratulations Accounting Solution SA for reaching 1 million view and send it before 15 of August 2024 so that I can upload it to my uh, TikTok channel which is called Accounting Solution SA as well as on YouTube channel. Please make sure that you do that uh, with your friend. You can do it alone at home or you can do it wearing a uniform at school. Anyway, all right. Now let's proceed. Uh, the next one they said electricity of 80,000. Electricity of 80,000. But this electricity of 80,000, they said only 70% is for factory and 15% is for sales and the other one is for admin. We focus on factory, which means that we're going to say multiply by 70%. Eighty thousand multiplied by seventy over hundred. It's gonna give us fifty-six, fifty-six thousand. Okay, and the other one, sundry factory expense. Once they said factory, is belong here. Once they say manufacturing, in Genala. Okay, sundry expense. 6,000. Okay. I think now we are done with everything. We're left with addition. Okay. After that, we're going to transfer it to work in progress. Okay. Let me add uh, this balance is 38,000 plus 40,000 plus 112,000. Plus 56,000 plus 6,000. Okay, you have to make sure that you verify this calculation. Uh, but otherwise, what is important is the principle. Okay, the figures are not going to come back as it is. The most, most important thing is to understand the principle because I'm using phone to calculate. Uh, I might probably do mistake. Okay, so you have to verify and the do it correctly on your own not on my comment section okay now we go to this amount and we transfer it to what to factory overheads here 252,000. okay then the total is gonna give us 380,000 plus 356,000 plus 2,000. It's going to give us 990,000 and 990,000. Okay. Now the question is, can we calculate these two as a balancing figure? No. At least one item and we calculate as a balancing figure. Alright. Now, which means that we have to figure out one of these so that we can do a reverse. Okay. A cost of sales. Let's check if we can get it. Uh, remember they give us a sales amount of one million and thirty five thousand and on top they say that um, this company is using a markup of twenty five percent which means that we can calculate cost of sales using a markup one thirty five thousand multiplied by thirty five percent okay let me write it in a form of markup uh, so that some of you guys you won't get confused multiply by because we are looking for 100 over 125 because we are looking for cost of sales 100 must be on top okay it's gonna be 10 35 000 multiply by 100 over 125 eight twenty eight thousand okay now let's get total here plus eighty four thousand it's 
going to give us 912,000, which is going to be the same this side. And we do balancing figure 44,868,000. And now we can. Take this one go be, going back to this side 868,000, and now we can calculate balance as a balancing figure. Now, very simple 990, then balance is gonna give us 122,000. This is how you do part one. We are still going to do part two in this video uh, 2.3. Refer to additional information number C where we're going to calculate a break-even point. Guys, please, please, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like video, and share with friends. That's how we keep growing and we keep uploading more videos. If there was no any subscribe, a person who subscribed to this channel, I was not going to record because I was, I was going to record for who. So once, the more you subscribe, the more I keep recording more videos for you. Okay, and also guys, those who want to join our extra class, please do so in time so that you can prepare yourself as early as possible. Now most of the subjects are already here. Economics, business studies, accounting, mathematics and mathematical literacy, we offer all those subjects by only 100 rand per subject per month. You attend twice each and every week. Make sure that you join guys so that you can learn more and when you go to grade 12, you won't have any problem okay now uh, let's go to the next part they said number 2.3.1 calculate the break-even point for the financial year end 28 february 3.2.3.2 we have to comment if the the business will be happy about the break-even point let's take the last part additional information remember break even point formula said a fixed cost divided by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. Okay, let's take the fixed cost. The fixed cost amount uh, for 2023 is 400,000. A fixed cost. And the selling price they didn't give us amount of selling price but we have a total sales uh, of 750000 and we know that we sold 10000 so we have to divide so that we can get a selling price of 75 rand okay 75 rand per unit we are not looking for total sales we are looking for per unit minus variable variable we are going to do the same we're going to say a total variable of 480 divided by 10,000, which is going to give us 48 rand. 48 rand. Okay, let's do calculation 400,000. 75 minus 48 is going to give us 27. Okay, and when we say 400,000, Divide by 27, it's going to give us 14,814. Now the last question is, are they going to be happy about this? Let's check. How many units that they sold? 10,000. And in order for them not to make a profit and not to make a loss, they have to sell this. To, for them to make a profit, they have to sell more than this. And they sold below this, which is 10,000. They're not going to be happy. They make a loss. They didn't make any, any profit. I hope you enjoy, guys. I'm going to see you on the next. But, but, guys, don't forget to buy a study guide so that you can get questions, many questions like this one, so that you can study and prepare yourself. Okay? See you next one.